tell us why we should be worried about asteroids. Well, I'm not saying we should be worried. This is actually rather a joyous occasion because this is a world catastrophe which we probably are about to have the capability to avoid. So that's what this is about, really. Yes, we've become aware that it's very possible that there could be an asteroid out there which could certainly obliterate a city and maybe worse than that. And uh, up to now, we really don't know enough about the positions of these objects. But if we can detect one of them early enough, it's going to be very possible, probably in the next 10 years, to go out and perturb it just enough so that it will miss the Earth. We think that an object as small as 50 meters could make a huge impact on the Earth. In fact, we know it because you look at Tunguska, 1908, obliterated a large area by exploding above the ground. That's what these medium-sized objects do. We actually think there's about a million of those out there, of which we probably know 10,000. So we know about 1% of the possible um, impactors. And the public will determine that this is a priority and they will encourage the governments to, to take action. But there are, in the short term, some very good options. The major one is to get a, a space-based telescope up there, an infrared telescope, which will be able to do the mapping we need. We think we can multiply the number that we detect per year by 100. Tell me what you got you involved. What got me involved was Greg Richters, who was making a film about um, the obliteration of, of the Earth by an asteroid. It's a science fiction film. And um, he asked me to do the music, which I did, and we got involved together. And I think together we, we thought, well, who is doing something about this? And the answer is not very many people. And a lot of the effort is, is public money, philanthropy, if you like. Why isn't there a, a concerted global effort to discover where these objects are and try and prepare us? We're hoping to capture people's imagination, really. Um, and uh, there are no firm plans yet, but we would hope for some concert events around the world, perhaps coordinated, and for some appearances by people who, who know uh, the situation and who can explain it in, in terms that everyone can understand. Um, so at the moment, we have a fantastic team already of signatories. We have 107 astronauts, scientists, artists, um, major players in, in many areas already signed up, asteroidday.org. And if you go there, you can sign up as a founder member of Asteroid Day. And I think it would be an exciting thing to be a part of.